I'm in the fixed assets module here. Let's have a look at the process of transferring an inventory item to fixed assets. Now before I can use this process, uh, I need to create the asset in the system. So let's go and do that. So I'm going to go and create it in the machines group and I'm going to say it's X400 for example. So that's our asset created. We're just going to save that. Now I've got an inventory item that I've got in the system. Let's have a look here. So the inventory item I've created is X800. Now I'll open up the record here and if we have a look in our inventory um, we've got some inventory on, on, on hand in this. So we've got uh, uh, 10 of them in stock for example. And so let's uh, have a look at transferring one of these over to fixed assets. So if I go to the fixed assets module I can use the journal which is inventory to fixed asset and from here I can specify the details. So um, if I pick our item number, so X800, so I'm specifying the uh, quantity here is 1 and what I can do here is find our inventory item. So it was the X400 was the name, so um, number 13 here. Now that's the basic information that's been added. So I'm just simply going to post this and we get an error because I didn't specify the transaction type. So what I'm specifying here is that this is an acquisition. So I'm acquiring this item. So let's try again. So we'll post and it's now posted. So if we go across and have a look at our fixed asset and view the details. So this was the asset we created. The value models were picked up from the um, fixed asset group that we assigned which was uh, MACH for example. Now you'll see that the um, value model, and if I look at the transaction, we have an acquisition amount of 7857. And so this amount actually comes from the cost value that's stored for that item. So if we have a look for example if we go across to the released item have a look at the transactions and um, or if we have a look at on hand if we have a look at on hand we'll see that the current cost price um, it's uh, updated now but let's filter this without location and we should get and filter it without warehouse. Okay, so we get nine. So now we'll see that the average cost price is seventy eight fifty seven. So we actually get that average cost price uh, for the items brought across as the fixed asset value. So that's what you might want to consider is of course the value that you're bringing on that asset. That's what happens at least from default purposes um, when the asset is brought across in the system. Um, to match the value of the asset as it was in inventory. So that's the basic process of taking an inventory item. Um, you'll see that the on hand was 10 and now it's 9 because we've taken one out of inventory of course um, and it's now a fixed asset. So that's something you might want to consider um, if you you've got inventory items and then you want to move them to fixed assets. Now in that example, probably not a good, good example in terms of the asset value was only $78 which is probably below most capitalization um, the values that you would do that sort of move anyway but it was more the mechanism of how you get that across into fixed assets. So quick overview of how you get an inventory into fixed assets.